Hi, good evening to all of you. Am I audible, guys? Visible also. Saurav, Namrata, Bhavya, Divyam, and other celebrities. Okay. So this is kind of mic testing going on for 14 or 15 microseconds. After that, we shall be taking up with the session. So in this session, we shall be talking about, we shall be taking up Zat essay writing, and. Uh, probably we shall be focusing on few tips that will help you in writing an essay when you take uh, that otherwise how the preparations are going on for that is tougher than cat yes guys so our preparations are going on let me check the celebrities uh, so we have got tanmay akash suman ayush bhavya divyam and uh, Saurabh, Karun, Charu, Aditya from United States of America, uh, Nikhil Batra, Nishan, Saloni, okay, you have so many, and uh, Karun, Snigda, Mr. Shrest, I think he's from my batch, are you the same Shrest guy? Akash. Uh, Akash, you're my, uh, am I your mentor also? Same, Akash. Arjun Jamwal, straight from the Hollywood house, has joined the session. Welcome, Arjun. Okay, so uh, let's start about essay writing. And uh, no, but again, you will remain Akash, the sky forever. One of the five essential elements. Uh, okay, uh, that essay writing. So let's see what we have. So as we know that many B schools have switched over to essay writing instead of uh, group discussions because in group discussion generally uh, 15 minutes are given. We have uh, 15 participants and on an average you will get one minute and one can throw easily three, four good points and can you can manipulate things also and uh, you can impress your audience with your vocabulary, oratory and thinking skills in GDs uh, and uh, B school invigilator psychologists or admission uh, counselors will not be able to judge your real self or aptitude or attitude so now they have realized that uh, people are really very very manipulative and Indians are of course uh, by default are born genius under the commas so they can they know how to manipulate the things so that's why they have switched over to essay. This is one of the reasons that they switched over to essay writing. And uh, timings, uh, time allotted given to us uh, for this exercise in any exam would be something like 15 to 30 minutes. That's a reason that why we switched over to essay. And uh, let's talk about few basics related to essay writing. So I shall be writing few basics. Then we have got slideshow. And uh, we'll pick up one uh, topic here and we'll discuss the points generated by you. So that's how we go. And uh, first of all, few basics. So essay. So I'm back. So audible again. So my phone was ringing. That's why you're not able to hear me. Now, am I audible? I suppose I'm, assumed, I'm assuming that I'm audible. Okay. So basics, if we talk about the basics related to, uh, let's define this word essay. In the French version of this word is called essay. It's called French version, and uh, the Greek version is exagium. And no doubt the English version is of this word is essay. Now they all mean to attempt. You try to write or you attempt to write on any given topic. That is called essay. Now, how should be the piece of writing? How should we write and what should we write? And what impression we want to depict or project upon our readers? So these are the three or four basic elements. So, and we shall be taking up each one by one. So essay should be uh, normally 
uh, at the max 20 to 30 lines each line comprising 10 words not more than 300 words 200 to 300 words as far as this particular uh, area that is concerned that verbal section essay writing so uh, coming back to uh, we are done with the definition part essay means to attempt to write you attempt to write something on the given topic now let's talk about the components of essay so i shall be erasing likewise we use whiteboard so any uh, an essay would be consisting of words leading to sentences sentences leading to a paragraph and the final output is essay so guys whatever i am writing is it visible can you read are you able to read whatever i am writing so words a little bit of italian french script but uh, a little difficult to use uh, words so words will make sentence sentences will make a paragraph and few paragraphs not more than four and minimum two will make an essay that's how we go about now as we can uh, easily make out all the ingredients are different words sentence paragraph essay but they have got one thing in common and this is unity unity for example while uh, picturizing a scene or shooting a scene film scene three or four components are very important the light the camera the plot itself actors and the props if any of the elements is missing from the scene probably the cohesion or the unity of the entire scene is disturbed so these are the likewise in movie any movie these are also few elements words sentences paragraph so if any one of them is not able to perform its uh, so called expected function properly will not be able to maintain the unity of the essay or whatever we are writing so unity means cohesiveness likewise while writing a piece or story or script there should be cohesion uh, there should be proper flow and there should be connection between various paragraphs so everything combined is called unity now the next big question how to achieve this unity and what exactly uh, we need to maintain and sustain unity so next part we shall be taking up uh, how unity is to be uh, maintained now unity can be maintained by taking care of two very important things one is called relevancy and second is called proportion so relevancy and proportion these two are very important parameters to maintain unity unity means cohesion or cohesiveness of an essay relevancy means whatever we write should be relevant to the given topic as simple as that but relevancy can only be obtained if we understand the core of the topic or the essence of the topic about which we are supposed to write so until unless we understand the core the very important part uh, that would be to generate points i will not be able to generate relevant points unless i understand the core of the given topic so it's very important to uh, be in touch with any good newspaper news channel etc and we should be well read in order to write something very significant or substantial so relevancy can only be maintained if i understand the core and core can be understood by looking at the keyword the topic itself for example if the topic is the uses of athletic sports here the keywords are very simple uses and athletic sports three words these are the keywords but point is that i should be aware of the word or the area athletic sports and in this uh, the games uh, where physical involvement is very high 
uh, are included so i should be very clear in my mind that how come athletic sports are different from any other game or sports so these are the keyword and whatever i think should be relevant to the athletic spo- sports i cannot think of playing carrom board or chess or uh, so called manipulations or dirty politics whatever we see here in india so these are to be uh, kept separated so i should be uh, ajay am i audible now please check from my side i think uh, my voice is reaching and uh, to you all i can easily see the my audio meter here some uh, sensor is there yes guys rest of the people uh, am i audible press yes if i am because ajay is not okay pl- ajay please check uh, connection your side okay uh, so uh, moving on to uh, coming back to the point relevancy can only be maintained by looking at the keywords and keywords are very important and should be able to understand so whatever i should generate and we shall be taking a point generation techniques also uh, whenever we come across topics uh, from various uh, areas so relevancy is maintained if i understand the core of the issue now proportion proportion means how we organize different paragraphs we'll be talking about format in journal the division or the proportion or division in journal then division how should we organize 3 to 4 at the max 4 body paragraphs uh, whenever we are dealing with different types of essays first of all the general idea for example any uh, an essay would be consisting of uh, in writing in writing would be consisting of three areas as we all are aware of the first is called intro second component is called body its body and the last component is called conclusion by the rule intro should be given 10% space conclusion should also be given 10% space rest 80% space should be given to body paragraphs that's how we go uh, let's say if you have uh, if you have to write 30 odd lines on any given topic Uh, then probably three lines for intro three to four and it's not hard and fast rule that sir told that day that it has to be three only three uh, three uh, three to four lines intro three to four line conclusion rest space uh, should be devoted to body paragraph this is general format and i think we all are aware of this but if you are not make sure that you should not exceed these uh, limits otherwise this will disturb the proportion uh, and proportion in turn will disturb the unity of whatever we are writing so this is proportion as per the general format now proportion as per the types of essays so speci- especially i shall be focusing on that only and will be picking only two types otherwise we have got six or seven types and these are really not required so let's say if the essay type is narrative 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 as we all know means storytelling now in story two or three points are very important uh, to be kept in mind one is the time and second the characters so as per if we have to arrange if you have to arrange the different paragraphs body paragraphs so we should follow or we should allocate the space in the order of time first past then present and after that future and we should be t- taking up uh, the importance of the characters or with respect to the story so primarily in narrative essays time is very important so we place with different we space uh, we keep the space as per the uh, time now coming back to the second type the very important is which generally you come across argumentative type argumentative types of essays argumentative types so argumentative means here you will try to support or question or raise questions or disapprove any particular case for example if the uh, topic is should we pass jan lokpal bill then you will take stand primarily in favor or let's say you will go against or you will at least show your inclination towards whether we should pass or not so here you have to give proper arguments 
logical argument to support or to make substantial case while writing an essay in argumentative types of essays where we are supposed to uh, counter or support anything where we are supposed to reflect upon the matter and our opinions are taken into consideration then in argumentative essays the spacing should be done as per the weight of an argument for example if i have decided to write or uh, put on uh, this write three or four solid arguments then i should prioritize as per the weight for example first argument is important third is not so important fourth is least important then arrangement should be as per the priority at the very first place the most important argument should come then second then third then fourth priority wise number 1 number 2 i should be able to make the for example these are the four arguments this is first this is second this is third this is fourth so transition from first to second second to third and third to fourth and fourth to conclusion should be very very smooth there should not be any ambiguity while proceeding or while reading uh, your essay your whatever you have written so it should not confuse the readers regarding your stand your views your opinion so whenever we are dealing with argumentative essays where uh, we are supposed to reflect upon something there the transition should be very very smooth and you should place your arguments as per uh, the substance in your argument wait uh, so that's how we proceed with uh, argumentative essays one of the styles and generally will come across uh, either argumentative or the second which i am writing right now and the second type very important these are called expository essays so guys first of all we should know the meaning of exposit do we know the meaning of exposit guys any one of you should not take more than 3 seconds otherwise it is for sure that uh, you are checking something online our indians are born genius actually uh, bhavya i'll answer your question in case of controversial topics sensitive topics then how to deal with this and what should be the writing format Uh, no satyaki it is not uh, this is uh, example given by me it is not necessary there is no hard and fast rule to take any particular side if you highlight pros and cons of any given situation be it expository essays or argumentative essay this shows that uh, you have got very balanced personality mindset and you are very mature because every side uh, every story every issue would be having few pros few cons and if you are able to analyze both the sides equally or in balance shows will definitely show your uh, maturity and balance and no equilin uh, conclusion uh, i'll tell you that uh, what's the difference between introduction and conclusion uh, right now uh, we are talking about uh, expository expository is to explain uh, exposit is to explain expository means where you try to explain and generally you will find uh, topics something like uh, any law any procedure let it be scientific procedure let it be green technologies uh, let it be uh, any uh, behavior or something to do with uh, human nature so there we are supposed to explain the writer is the uh, essay uh, one who is writing the piece of writing is supposed to explain the topic now while explaining the only problem or the requirement uh, with these topics is that we should have knowledge of we should have knowledge of whatever we are writing uh, normally you will find issues related to socio cultural socio economic and uh, science where we are supposed to explain now when we are writing when we are explaining something uh, the first requirement is that uh, i should have knowledge of this particular topic and if uh, i have knowledge of this particular topic where i'm uh, writing on it when i'm writing about that particular topic i should keep in mind that first this will happen second this will happen third this will happen and we should place the body paragraph as per the order of events or happening of events for example if you are manufacturing something if you are talking about the origin of universe if you are talking about uh, behavior of an uh, of a human being then we start from uh, infant or childhood days then adolescence likewise 
so i should know what i am writing and the procedure goes like this the order of events would be something like this so expository means uh, uh, yes you explain and you explain uh, in a way so that others also understand let the phenomena be your procedure be or the issue be complex but reader should be able to understand whatever you are writing so one interesting quote i came across about essay was that write not so that people can understand something uh, write uh, so that people are not uh, feeling people should not feel confused about so we are not uh, writing merely for making them understand we are writings uh, no doubt understanding is very important but at the same time we need to take care of that people should also uh, not be confused after writing uh, after reading our piece of text so expository means explain and explain uh, explain i can explain anything completely if i am aware of that particular topic and i should brainstorm first what i am supposed to write and place the points as per the order of the events am i clear guys till here press yes if i am clear till here uh important chronological order chrono is related to time uh, whenever any event uh, or procedure topic uh, involves time then chronological order is very important but whenever i am talking about scientific procedure then we have got step first of all this two should be taken then this should be taken let's say if you want to uh, let's say uh, you want to talk about the advantages of solar energy production over hydroelectric electricity production if you are talking about so i should know solar energy production would be something the availability of uh, sun or sun time is a day time is there etc and what exactly hydroelectric power uh, comprises i sh it should not be that the only water is required or turbines are required at least i should be aware of that how electricity is produced am i clear uh equivalent is uh, yes I, i'll be coming on to the start and intro i'll uh, definitely take up these two lines how to start and how to uh, conclude even so this is about types of essay and how proportion is to be till now we have discussed three important things words will make sentences and sentence will make a paragraph and paragraph would make uh an essay so unity in case let me define the unity in journal for example if i take very important thing now listen very carefully if i talk about any word i write i use in an essay then unity with respect to a word means word should represent only one idea and not more than one idea there should not be any ambiguity that is what we call maintaining the unity in case if we use word in case if i use any sentence definitely words will make a sentence then sentence should also reflect only one idea and not more than one idea that is called maintaining unity in case of sentence if we talk about similarly if i talk about paragraph a paragraph should highlight or should take up only one sub area one sub area not more than one sub area similarly an essay should reflect should talk about should highlight only one issue and not more than one issue am i clear in nutshell that's how we define unity uh, ritupurna singh do not have your audio so kindly write it on board i'm writing on board screen this is one blank screen i have kept and uh, that's why i'm writing i have understood your question ritupurna so uh, moving further so am i clear word should represent only one single idea sentence should represent only one single idea not more than one paragraph sub area and essay only on one topic it should not be that with single word uh, you are going to uh, touch uh, 100 issues and with single sentence you are going to cover the all the four vedas rig veda yajur veda with single sentence only so this should not should not be the case because while speaking things are pretty understood and while writing you have to be extremely clear this is very important point when it comes to communication the written communication it has its own restrictions and limitations while speaking pretty the things are pretty understood so let's move ahead am i clear about the unity idea okay uh, okay so uh, 
that is all about little basics or theory or gyan related to uh, fundamentals related to essay writing now we shall be taking up slides one by one and wherever we feel uh, point to be discussed i'll be taking up no actually you can't be penalized using idealistic or philosophical stand in argumentative essay but the point the difficulty is that the problem is that generally students they generally use philosophical quotes to introduce the topic or somewhere in between but they are not able to carry it forward and sometimes uh, the philosophical quotes are too heavy uh, to represent uh, the very light or simple topic given that's why now what does an essay reflect why exactly we keep this exercise as we, uh, we have discussed uh, this earlier also to assess your personality your ideas because we want to check your opinion uh, views about any issue or any issue your ability to analyze the complexity of any particular issue your ability to draw inferences your value system very important when it comes to uh, companies like tata and other such companies uh, during your placement drive also after you complete your mba from iims ahmedabad nothing less than iims say or say harvard university so they'll first check your value system your attitude i'm talking about either positive or negative i'm not talking about attitude when you will earn uh, when you will start getting salary of 1.6 crore per second your attitude definitely will change i'm talking about positive and, and negative only and aptitude uh, that you are suitable or fit for this corporate sector or not why because whenever we write something after third or fourth line see we can manipulate easily three or four points but when we are made to write 30 40 odd lines uh, while writing sixth or seventh line my real self will automatically by default uh, come out of my body or my personality definitely will come out of my body and people can reader can easily analyze my thought process my personality and can evaluate whether and can assess also uh, that whether i am fit for this job or i'll be fit for this job or not so very very important uh, because things can be manipulated three or four sentences can be even we can manipulate interviews also we teach you the manufactured answer artificial answers but when it comes to writing it is you versus that uh, screen or the piece of paper and pen and your brain only will not be uh, there to help you out to correct your mistakes so it would be you versus uh, the paper setter and definitely uh, while writing 10th or 14th line your real self will come out and uh, we all have got very horrible real self so we have to be extra careful while writing an essay okay uh, good essay what good uh, essay should have believe me uh, leave aside your communication skills oratory skills presentation skills and your other skills which you are known for in your friend circle the only king would always be content when it comes to academics when it comes to your views or your reflection on any particular matter so content will always remain the king so make sure that whenever we decide few points the point should be very very substantial and should be extremely relevant extremely relevant i would say organization guys we already have taken how to use uh, but in case Uh, make sure that you use examples and uh, quotes and data but make sure that you are damn sure about whatever you are writing presentation and uh, we check uh, your style of writing and not uh, particularly in 30 40 lines we can write about our uh, we can uh, your style can be reflected use of language very important here people are really confused should we use difficult words over impressive vocabulary to impress our readers or not so guys uh, should we use difficult words very uh, weighty words lofty words to impress my readers yes or no press yes or no that's it my question is yes or no yes absolutely no we should not try to impress our readers with our vocabulary or oratory skills because anything meant for mass reading should not contain high fi or very weighty words this will uh, yeah content matters stressed you are stressed really and uh, uh, the content will matter the substance in the point would matter rather than the word used so uh, be careful about your spelling and finally uh, the ease of reading so whenever you watch any movie and you are not able to leave your seat 
uh, so what we can make out whenever you are watching any movie and you are not able to leave your seat and you uh, whenever you want to leave your seat because of any reason so for example boys after a couple of minutes they feel that their carbon monoxide levels are uh, dipping fast so they go out of the picture hall and they inhale few carbon dioxide sticks carbon dioxide sticks and they come back so when you are not able to do so so credit goes to whom the writer the director or the both or the actors movie i'm not talking about movie yeah director and writer so script is made in a such a powerful way the connected the, the parts are connected in such a powerful way that it is impossible for you to leave any or miss any particular scene that's the power of writing so that's called ease of reading as well that you read or watch anything complex on screen or let's say you're reading something writer the reader should be or viewer should be uh, feel very comfortable while watching or reading whatever you have written so director no doubt director is probably the sequence the, the whole credit goes to script writer primarily a script editor even and director is how he uses that script and editor finally where to cut the irrelevant stuff and what to keep in so that is a par rest all uh, you see characters so you see sharuk or you see uh, deepika aishwarya aunty etc Uh, they all are mere puppets, being controlled by director and script writer. So, as uh, whenever you are writing an essay, so you are the director of the movie, uh, script writer as well. You know where to keep any particular piece and where to fit in any particular piece and what to keep, what to reject, and what to write even. So, you are whole soul uh, director, producer, and uh, actor even. Vishwanath presentation is important. you are the person who are maintaining or uh, controlling the entire world lord vishwanath so nobody whatever you say is absolutely right vishwanath okay uh, now the evaluation parameters evaluation parameter uh, whenever you write an essay three or four things uh, three four parameters are upon which you will be evaluated would be comprehension your ability to make readers understand whatever you are writing whatever you have written comprehension is very very important originality of thought it doesn't mean that we should not pick up quotes written by said by famous personalities great personalities we can use but should be relevant to the given and should not be overly philosophical clarity of expression no ambiguity because if ambiguous uh, ambiguous word or sentence is inserted will spoil the unity of the paragraph um, make sure that you use fair logic reasonable stuff to build arguments constructive thinking to present your ideas make sure that sentence should be brief and concise and it should be effective should bang the minds of the readers and then then also then uh, you can think of creating an impression whenever you see any movie i don't know which particular movie uh, you watched recently seen recently but people are really praising baji rao mastani and dilwale out of these two so whom do you uh, do you think that which one baji rao or dilwale just i am asking out of the context baji rao baji rao mastani was the second wife of peshwa baji rao so i was just checking the personality or the mindset of the indian males that's why they picked up baji rao this shows that in future also we will be moving treading the same path like by peshwa baji rao did okay uh, so jokes apart uh, let's move ahead and the girls are i think little more inclined towards dilwale am i correct girls yes or no no so you also loved bajira no doubt ranveer acted uh, brilliantly in this movie and so uh, deepika padukone okay now uh, the time has come to uh, start with the to think about the writing part steps involved and here we'll take uh, important breaks at the same time to discuss the important points now step number 1 is read and understand the core of the topic it is very important and unless i understand the core i'll not be able to generate the relevant points second brainstorming very important brainstorming part and idea generation now i'll stop at uh, brainstorming point and we'll discuss brainstorming and how ideas are generated the most 
difficult part while writing or while sitting for a GD would be to generate points. We are not able to generate points. Let's say immediately if I ask uh, all of you right now are attending this session, say something immediately within two or three seconds, write something that small is beautiful, write one line. Small is beautiful, guys. The topic is small is beautiful, write one line, what, whatever comes to your mind. Type in, type in fast. Rose, Bhavya is thinking about pretty friend. Harsovit Kohinoor from Ludhiana. Vivek, mobile phones gifted by your girlfriend. Very good. Sandeep Kumar, Earth in a Galaxy. Sandeep Kumar, I think you are from BTEC background. And you are very got, uh, sensitive also in philosophical mindset. Yeah, good things comes in small package. Equilin. Divyam, small babies. Too early to think about. But I will take your point, Divyam. Sort of water, how can water be related to something small is beautiful? I think your quant specialist, Sort of Kaval, A plus B whole square. Very great. I'm coming across very uh, creative points. Satyaki Kitten. Are you a member of PETA, People for Ethical Treatments? Ethical treatment given to animals? Satyaki. Equilin. Kittens are really awesome, no doubt. Abilash, human beings. How come human beings? You are talking about small human beings? Is this something very personal? Your so-called adorable friend is small? Nothing personal otherwise. Uh, Shiva plus one. What is Shiva plus one? Butterflies. Absolutely marvelous. So you all are uh, believe me and I can bet on that I can vouch uh, for this that you all are born genius nobody can stop you being successful you all are I think born tycoons you're just wasting your time to go to IIMS, Ahmedabad or Harvard you can straight away start your business so Google Plus okay okay sorry Google Plus okay. um, now brainstorming now uh, brainstorming means to generate points Generally, we come across two, primarily two major types. Either the topic would be factual based on facts, whatever we see around us, or the topic would be based on abstract area or would be abstract in nature. For example, the topic I gave was an abstract topic. Small is beautiful, grass is not green, black is gray, gray is orange, etc. All these silly topics. Uh, and people generally, people who are you know innocent, simply innocent, down to earth people, they think that what is the relevant uh, relevancy of this topic or are these topics really relevant? So uh, either factual topics we are given or we are given abstract topics. So uh, are you able to recall 2015 ZAT essays topic, guys? It was about. Just try to uh, cudgel your brain. One. Yeah, it was about listening uh, is a dying art. We listen more to refute or challenge rather than to understand. So uh, now if you have to put them into one of the categories, either factual or abstract or mix of factual and abstract. So third category would be mix of facts and abstract, abstraction and uh, factual, uh, the essence of the. So would be this uh, last year's topic will fall under which category, factual or abstract? It would be a mix of. Uh, because we need to pick a few examples from our day-to-day -day life also and uh, in case if you are able to uh, pick up examples from society or the politics so primarily it's uh, it is abstract in nature but with a tinge of factual essence of factualness also so that's how we uh, go now we'll have two different techniques uh, for both the areas we got two techniques how to generate points when we are given uh, factual topic and how to generate points when we come across abstract topic. Then we'll, we'll talk about step three: compose an essay, composition part, and then uh, we shall be coming back to sum up, sum, uh, summing up entire uh, discussion. Now, guys, uh, uh, can you see the topic on your screen? The topic number one: should there be reservations? Okay, uh, all of you can see. Step number one. If I have to write an essay on this topic, 
then my first priority would be I have to define reservation and whenever it comes to reservation nothing personal uh, not touching the personal angle etc so generally whenever we think of reservation we think of reservation in IMS A, B, C and MB because all you are competing for this uh, prestigious all these prestigious institutions so you think of uh, with respect to your IIT J or IMS A etc but uh, people generally are not able to recall they forget that uh, they have, we have got six or seven types of reservation on the basis of caste on the basis of uh, you know the economic criteria uh, sports quota management quota defense quota ex servicemen quota uh, only girl child quota kashmiri migrants minority quota we have got so many types of reservations but we only think of reservation based on the basis of caste and creed is one of the very narrow aspect so i should be clear let's say if i because in simple 20 30 odd lines i cannot touch all types of reservations so i need to uh, fixate on the strategy that what are the issues that i want to touch upon so define with the first is uh, yeah yes abhishek so uh, should there be reservation so first of all is reservation we need to define now the next step would be idea generation and here we are really confused sometimes we'll go blank because of the topic or nature of the topic because we will not be aware of the topic or sometimes we have got rush of ideas and there also will feel confused at which idea uh, should I pick uh, which should be the one two and three so to avoid this confusion the technique goes like this so guys uh, can you see this sweltery word swelter word Okay, uh, this is the uh, technique we use to generate points uh, whenever we have to uh, think about any uh, factual topic. So first S, be careful and listen carefully. First S is social, where you see here, social. Social angle of that particular topic. P is political aspect of that particular topic. And H is historical aspect of that particular topic. E stands for the economics or the ecology or the environmental aspect of that particular topic. L is legal. T is technical. I is international. R is regional or religion. So how many angles now we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can think about any factual topic from or using or using all or one of these angles or two of these angles, three of these angles. Let's say if I pick up social angle, I have to generate points. So social could be social inequalities in rural and urban India like untouchability, etc. were taken care of with the help of this reservation. I equivalent stands for international aspect or angle of that particular topic. L is legal, yes. So, and uh, this is a little difficult point because generally we will not be able to recall that is article 15 or 16 or 17. Let's say political. Initially, uh, this uh, provision was created for 10 years only for uh, by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, but successive political parties continued with this reservation policy to sustain vote bank. In democracy, one of the, uh, this is one of the inherent flaws, vote bank politics. And what we have to say about uh, women reservation bill it is pending since 1968 we think that this woman reservation and Lokpal bill has been raised by has been created by you know promoted by Arvind Kejriwal is not so pending since 1960 yeah technical origin would be difficult for us to think always uh, for any given topic because uh, if you are a well read person then probably you will come up with technical ideas otherwise that the topic is based on technology, science, medicine, diseases then we can think of technical otherwise most of the time we will not be able to think technical in case if you are it's fine historical aspect could be for example this is we are using these angles to generate points and these are my generation my ideas you can use your ideas even so historical would be genesis means origin how this system came into being and uh, was there any timeline set by the constitution? So this is how we generate uh, using different angles. Economic would be initially uh, this, uh, this particular reservation is useless because it has been uh, uh, utilized, exploited by creamy layer. And once uh, the person is benefited by, uh, his name should be taken off from this list. Uh, 
ऋतुपुर में इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट समथिंग लेट्स यू यू कैन राइट एनी थिंग बट यू शुड नॉट हर्ट द सेंटिमेंट ऑफ एनी पर्टिकुलर कम्युनिटी और सेक्शन ऑफ सोसाइटी एंड वेन एवर यू राइट एनी थिंग सेंसिटिव और समथिंग कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल यू शुड बी एबल टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड रेकमेंड टू ऑल ऑल ऑफ यू दैट शुड शुड नॉट टच एनी थिंग सेंसिटिव और कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल इन केस इफ यू हैव टू एज पर द डिमांड ऑफ द टॉपिक देन मेक श्योर दैट योर पॉइंट इज वेल सपोर्टेड बाई डेटा नंबर्स एंड लॉजिकल एग्जाम्पल्स एम आई क्लियर रितुपुर Abhishek, technical in this case would mean uh, see uh, technological uh, already you can see on your screen. Legal would be uh, something right to equality is there. This is positive case of positive discrimination because you are benefiting the backward class people on the expense of uh, uh, so called upper caste people. You are discriminating one section of society to benefit another section of society. This is called positive uh, discrimination and this is not allowed because everyone has right to equality. if they are on the same platform then uh, should be given equal opportunity and everyone has got is has right to equality technological would be because whenever we think of reservation we think of only government colleges government institute and government jobs what you have to say about private sector like it it enable services what about this very important question that is the reservation in it is and i am skilling merit i'm not uh, saying that you should staunchly support or go against but this is how we generate uh, or think about any given topic from one hour two or three of these angles this is called sweltry technique and in case of international if uh, we apply this technique if we have continued this policy till now and uh, we have been able to uh, uplift the standard of marginalized people that this, this definitely has improved the image of india abroad also that we are taking care of our marginalized section of society so it is not necessary that you should include each and every angle from simple social angle i can generate i can generate uh, four points and i have to explain explain these four points so let me explain you what exactly are the body paragraphs so whenever we generate points let's say if i am able to i have to generate only minimum two and maximum four points minimum two or maximum four points that's how we go and one main point when expanded becomes one body paragraph am i clear guys first of all you should be very clear about this one main point generated and expanded then while writing is equal to one body paragraph so at the max the space or the time would only allow us only to write at the max 4 it should not exceed 4 if you are even bubbling with more ideas and be careful if you are not able to generate ideas so that's why we are taking up this trick Uh, so that we are able to generate ideas am i clear guys okay tell me if i am okay so now till now we have learned how to generate points related to factual uh, topics so international would be is reservation making india less competitive in the world similar policy in us also this is there this is called affirmative action they are also they support but there the discrimination is on the basis of color of the skin and they have got various schemes to uplift the section of these uh, these section uh, this particular section of the society and there this is called affirmative section now but this is uh, based on my knowledge if i don't have knowledge of these affirmative or uh, uh, actions or such areas i'll not be able to use religion reservation for minority such a committee now this is little technical i would not recommend that uh, one should be able to uh, try so hard to uh, recall committee's report but point is that uh, this is how we generate the sector technique is called sweltr technique s p h e l t l t e r sweltr sweltr technique the social political historical eco environmental legal technical regional or religion or international aspect that's how we go let's move on to the factual to abstract topic so equilin uh, you you say if you, you i am an atheist and particular flavor secularism for india uh, violates so atheist is uh, maintaining uh, giving respect showing respect to all religion atheist doesn't follow any religion but athe atheist doesn't imply that he uh, shows disrespect towards any religion 
we are mixing these two definitions uh, yeah digital inequality uh, digital equality we can talk about uh, pm's man ki baat to start up stand up in india yes definitely you are a minority and you have no rights uh, see this is uh, first of all uh, there should not be any personal agenda or personal motives or desire attached to any particular topic you can represent uh, the entire community but you cannot use uh, anything to justify your cause equally am i clear you can present uh, the anguish or pain but using general sentences and community and people like word uh, abhishek uh, don't get into political debate right now uh, it is already in our constitution it is as per the percentage of the population in any particular area the composition part listen what lord shiva is also saying uh, yes yes uh, shiva we can uh, have strongly critical view maintaining diplomacy and uh, a courteous language okay guys now come uh, coming back to topic number 2 and this is uh, based on abstract list is all of you come back leave this chat aside for a while okay uh, so uh, i'll answer your question uh, equilin so the, now the next area let's say whenever we are given abstract topic let's say the technique to generate points would be pop beans can you see this acronym abbreviation on your screen i have underlined also encircled also so pop beans now the topic first of all why do we give you abstract topics see the difference between abstract and the factual topic is that in factual topic chances are highly likely that we will to conclude or take any stand or will remain neutral but abstract topics there is no way that we can conclude anything we can express we can explain anything but it's very difficult for uh, us to conclude now what's the purpose or logic of giving you this particular area see abstract topic first of all let us uh, think about that what we are preparing for we are preparing to enter corporate sector at the level of management in management the essence would be you have to make strategy make choices decisions etc let's say to solve any particular problem you have got four plans with you plan a plan b plan c plan d but in reality when you confront that situation uh, you find that uh, all the plans are not uh, all the plans have failed and uh, you're left uh, in lurch and you're now helpless what you will do so again now uh, at this juncture manager should have creativity or ability to think lit- literally and ability to think out of box this is called innovative innovative thinking or literal thinking so abstract topic the purpose of giving you abstract topic is to check this literal ability or ability to think literally in you your creative instincts or spontaneity in the person because ultimately mba or the corporate sector is game of guts common sense and spontaneity the leave aside mba from any good top b school etc ultimately everything boils down to your guts your common sense your ability to handle the situation or challenges of life and corporate sector uh, with ease so that's how uh, that's why the purpose the logic of uh, this uh, pop uh, sorry abstract topic otherwise there's no uh, way uh, to judge your spontaneity or ability to think literally let's say and uh, now what's the technique how this technique is to be applied what exactly we mean by this acronym pop beans now pop first p is people first p is people second o is object third p is place people object place b means behavior b is behavior e is event and a action this a means action n is nature s is society or space so i'm repeating uh, first you can see on your screen the first side slide people object place behavior event and a is action n nature s space or society now what is the technique so whenever we are given any topic for example i gave you small is beautiful and one of you correlated associated this with diamond or small family or something like this then we'll leave aside small is beautiful will discuss the advantages or disadvantages of small diamond or small family or small nation or small anything small 
so that is called association technique and this is uh, Mm, Saloni, we can uh, uh, use two or three associations. Uh, normally, generally, people use two associations in pure abstract topics. But in general, you will not get pure abstract topics. Uh, you will get a mix of abstraction and the factual. Am I clear, Saloni? Uh, no, Ritu Purna, this is not meant for, meant, uh, meant for mass reading. So, it is not going to create controversy if I write 26-11. So, it should be that uh, we are talking about it from tragedy point of view. We are not talking about people behind there, the motives behind the attack. Am I clear, Ritu Purna? So, uh, prioritization should be done on the basis of, uh, let's say, you have to brainstorm, for example, uh, a black can be associated with people, let's say. Black people... Uh, to me means corrupt people, dishonest people. Then we pick up a uh, few examples and the disadvantages of being corrupt and dishonest, how nations are suffering or our nation suffers a loss. It is up to me to associate corruption and dishonor to up to what extent. And prioritization is as per, the, as per my story or wherever I want to. There is no hard and fast story in abstract topics about prioritization. For example, objects would be black hole. Now, black can be uh, associated with black hole. Then I'll leave black topic aside. I'll talk about black hole. Manipulated balance sheets. If I talk about if I associate black with places, could be historical monuments, could be graveyard, south or north pole. Then we'll leave aside uh, black uh, for a while and we'll discuss graveyard, north pole, south pole, etc. These are just to check your creative instinct rather than your knowledge quotient. Knowledge or academic quotient is checked whenever we are talking about factual topics but when whenever we come across topic like previous year there we need uh, uh, we check uh, your philosophical side also and your ex ability to express also and ability to prioritize your thought process even uh, behavior could be rude or aggressive even 26 11 no harm in highlighting uh, be it uh, let it be 26 11 9 11 here in india or let's say earthquake any other natural calamity or catastrophe, anything. It is not important, but make sure that you do not use controversial words. Should not try towards the sentiments of any particular community or section of the society. Actions could be honor killing, female feticide, negligent behavior shown by the people, intolerance shown by the people uh, while driving, nature, environmental degradation, pollution, etc. Catastrophic event, society, uh, we can uh, definitely use decline in values and morals. That's why the Nirbhaya like cases are rising uh, day by day and increasing in numbers. So definitely we can take into account this also. Yes, uh, we should talk about uh, black hole and black. Uh, the two areas are different. So I should uh, de devote two different uh, paragraphs also. Now, coming on to the proportion, very important point, point guys. So, uh, proportion means divide, uh, organize the paragraphs. How we organize the paragraph. That is called proportion is division. For example, if I pick up the example of uses of athletic sports. Now, looking at the keyword uses, what comes to mind, uh, my mind is that we have got two types of uses, physical or mental. Now, 50% of my body paragraph space should be devoted, should be given to physical uses and 50% should be given to mental uses. If I exceed or overstep the boundary of any of these two areas, probably I shall be disturbing the proportion. In, in turn, it will disturb the unity and cohesiveness of that uh, particular essay. So, it should be very particular. Therefore, by the rule, uh, we should have two different paragraphs for two different associations. Am I clear guys? Are you all there? Sleeping or listening carefully? Press yes if you are. Because while attending these sessions, you can do anything but I have to speak because you can see me also, you can hear me also, but I cannot see you. What are you doing? Right now people uh, enjoy popcorn, Coca-Cola, likewise as if they are watching any Hollywood movie. Okay, jokes apart. Uh, let's move ahead. Now guys, I will come across one topic. And uh, I need uh, points. Take your time and you have to think. That's, uh, that's how we practice in class also. And uh, come while you are making sandwich. Okay. Very smart people nowadays. So guys, this is a practice topic number one. Generally, we discuss in our classes. 
how real and relevant are reality shows watch this carefully try to uh, note down the keywords the keywords are first of all real then the second is relevant adish i need your views also and reality shows bhavya fear factor real kind of close to reality i would say so uh, no no first of all the keywords are real relevant and i'll i'll tell you the columns heads also then uh, you will think of the points so real and relevant are two different words first of all keep this in mind now i'll show you different heads think one point in favor of that particular head and think one point against that particular in that particular head now the table is like this think one social angle favor against etc i'll show you the points uh, the heads different heads so the core subject we have to discuss what exactly we mean by reality shows and the keywords are real and relevant and now the next very important step is brainstorming that is called idea generation ideas generation now we have to generate ideas so here your task starts so social point guys i'll give i'll keep you uh, keep on giving you one minute or so for each head social point so guys in agreement we need to support this topic yes they are real and relevant but social context platform for an individual yes bhave absolutely fine adish where are you prabal prabal are you our regular student last year prabal same uh, yes uh, promotes minority people people can showcase their talent and the people from even humble background those who cannot afford uh, the fee structure or those who haven't done such high five courses do not have links in the society probably can come forward and showcase their talents likewise in an idol yes now uh, these are in favor of talent meets opportunity absolutely shubhajit are you from west bengal shubhajit yes so my guess uh, viewers can relate and learn and they can motivate themselves also whenever we see little kids dancing and singing like adult uh you know uh, trained singer or dancers we are really surprised astonished uh, all together and we feel really motivated that then when they can do uh, what is stopping us now points for disagreement social point in disagreement guys negative point yes shreya nothing from your side akash karun showcasing there is no assurance of authenticity of their activities yes first of all we can question uh, authenticity uh, yes atiksha uh, these are uh, normally as we all know 99% they are scripted it is primarily meant uh, for generating money and generating trp television rating points over commercialization shubhajit nikhil patra black money generated uh, nikhil how come black money you are so sure about nikhil patra that black money generated i think you are an insider uh, yes uh, they'll definitely try to hide and manipulate balance sheet anything upon which tax is not paid is called black money rest is white money gamble played on winner results yes gamble is played okay this way okay fine and uh, okay guys Uh, done with our social context. Satya ki money more in SMS. Yes, this this can be included in uh, Satya ki in uh, economic aspect also. This way you are generating revenue for the country. You are utilizing services can put in uh, that particular category also. Now guys focus on political points. One in favor, one against. Yes, done by the news channels also. so coming on to so guys uh, political generally we have got these talk shows and debates exit polls opinion polls etc uh, they can uh, 
दे कैन क्रिएट विद द हेल्प ऑफ दी शोज वी कैन क्रिएट अवेयरनेस आल्सो लाइक सत्यमेव जयते एक्सेट्रा बट दे कैन चेंज द मूड और द दे कैन स्विंग द माइंड्स ऑफ द व्यूअर्स आल्सो व्हेनेवर द इलेक्शंस आर गोइंग ऑन और पोल्स आर गोइंग ऑन यस कैन इन्फ्लुएंस पीपल डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली यस समटाइम्स वी get to listen successful people yes this is, this could be one of the advantages that we can select better people if these shows are made mandatory debate shows uh, debates are made mandatory between contesting uh, parties or the people likewise we do have aapki dalat but again uh, in, i think this program my personal opinion this all program also has lost its sheen or glory earlier uh, rajat used to dissect uh, people ओके गाइस द इकोनॉमिकल आस्पेक्ट क्विक वी आर रनिंग शॉर्ट ऑफ टाइम इकोनॉमिकल इट जनरेट्स रेवेन्यू इट जनरेट्स एम्प्लॉयमेंट वी यूज न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी एंड वी सी गैजेट्स बीइंग यूज न्यू ट्रिक्स बीइंग यूज सो वी नीड द कंपनीज टू मैन्युफैक्चर ऑल दिस गैजेट्स वी नीड वी जनरेट एम्प्लॉयमेंट इट इंक्रीज द रेवेन्यू ऑफ द कंट्री और द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जीडीपी ऑफ द कंट्री इज इंप्रूव सो दिस इकोनॉमिकल आस्पेक्ट एंड if you write everything in excess excess of commercialization excess of uh, technique digitalization excess of anything the points will turn into negatives one of the techniques we employ while writing an essay environmental impact environmental impact would include society even and uh, probably the, the nature the science wise environment consisting of five basic elements so environmental so what you have to say about in certain uh, lang- uh, course uh, the uh, shows the language used by the contestants or the language used by the judges even is not up to the standard they use and most of the in in some of the comedy laughter challenge shows also etc uh, they come up with double meaning poetry and double meaning dialogues environmental yes i'm to environment we are also part of uh, this environment uh, shrest Yes, Rodi splits will be your favorite uh, reality shows, and uh, I'm not able to recall what that uh, AIR. What was that? Uh, AIB rose. AIB rose. So uh, program. If if you are uh, interested in watching these kind of program, make sure that you watch uh, these programs alone, not with your family. so yeah yeah uh, these programs sometimes they go up to the extent in order just to make something commercial or increase that trp no doubt uh, we cannot move away from all these uh, ideologies but should there should be certain restriction because uh, these can impact teenagers or uh, kids in a wrong way environment and people are generally motivated they lose their mind and they lose the control on their thoughts and they commit crimes that's environmental degradation technical uh, use of gadgets or technology sometimes it can be misused also uh, in reality shows like dance we have so that uh, x factor or something that fear factor uh, sometimes digital tricks are also used to scare you all legal are we able to yes the equivalent neutral is one of the styles one of the styles one of the styles now let's move on to the composition part now this is very important guys those who are still here with me three or four already have gone now this is the composition part now you have to be extra careful if you are carrying pen and copy with you you can note this composition also otherwise you can see day after tomorrow tomorrow this recorded version of this entire uh, class and uh, so intro that's how we start and what should be the intro like now the issue of this real reality show being real and uh, relevant is controversial on the one hand now controversial by introducing this word controversial i have given you the freedom that you want to uh be on the negative side or positive side and you know that uh, every side every coin has two sides or every story has two sides plus and con and minus and plus so this is this can be used the issue of this is controversial on the one hand your take on this on the other hand this is the take now however i believe 
now i believe this is very very important line for example whatever you believe in should be same as i therefore believe these two intro and conclusion should match listen it very carefully intro is whatever stand uh, let it be even neutral stand you want to take or positive negative is up to you should be able to justify the last conclusion what is the conclusion conclusion is the point which author is trying to convince us this generally i teach my critical reasoning classes also and uh, conclusion definitely should match in essence and in tone with the introduction you can start introduction using a uh, philosophical quote in a very interesting quote interesting saying it is not important to name that person according to shakespeare or according to rohit shetty of chennai express not necessary according to one of the film producers one of the uh, important personality from the film dom or film world you can uh, remain you can write generic uh, names also generic lines also but line should be relevant to the given topic and substantial also so in case if you are not able to uh, recall any particular thing then this is uh, straight away coming uh, to the point uh, this this style of writing which right and right now you can see on our screen the issue of this and this is controversial uh, i'm starting straight away coming on and banging head on on the one hand it is saying this on the other hand it is saying this however i believe in now two to four body paragraphs one reason of my belief is this another reason is this for example perhaps the best reason is this now these are you expand four main points they'll come they'll turn into four body paragraphs and each paragraph should not should not have more than three to four lines closing for all these reasons i therefore believe am i clear guys all of you have seen noted down this press yes so that i can move on to next slide because composition part is the end part this is uh, where we start actually after uh, point generation that's how we start uh, this 3 uh, and 4 yes because these are sufficient to uh, to express your opinion or express that point now how the point is to be written so whenever we have to write any point in professional circle after you complete your mba or while serving in your nation while writing an essay take care of this particular shortcut prec so can you see this p r e c i have written and divyam you can change the order also the most important reason can come at number 1 also this is called p r e c approach whenever you are writing you are sitting for a gd or sitting you are taking you are sitting uh, for an interview whatever this is the approach adopted by all professionals so p means state your point state your point r give reason why you are saying this this is the logical the most important aspect of or part or component of your point state reason clearly no ambiguity that why you are saying so e stands for example give examples why and uh, why we already stated an example to support your claim and last c stands for conclusion conclude whatever you are saying your point and conclusion should be same am i clear guys if i say i told you not to go there because i need to tell the reason why i told you so for example then example i'll give you one or two example because one other person tried going there he was killed by uh, terrorist or ultra people therefore it is advisable that you should not go there so initially the intro and conclusion should match in essence in tone and in ideas most of the students while writing they get sentimental they start with something very solid somewhere in between they go haywire and uh, they lose the way direction and conclusion they come out with something else so make sure that you uh, keep this in mind very simple things and if you're initially at the start you're saying something and at the end you're saying something it shows that uh, your indecisiveness or your, uh, that you're not able to keep focus for a long time you lose focus you you're not so visionary actually and uh, you will find difficulty in managing organization 
uh, and in managing your time at personal level also these are few psychological checks we do when we analyze anyone uh, anyone's essay am i clear guys till here just press k no need to press yes just press k the very stylish american k yes like this now you all uh, seem to be american anishing yo eminem style k k k straight excess of anything is bad uh, so this is the composition part now step number 3 uh, we have to review and revise the essay check for spellings grammar continuity of idea this is very very important i told you at the start also uh, continuity is very very important you should be able to maintain or make connection between the first and the second paragraph second and the third paragraph third and the fourth paragraph and your conclusion and intro should also match this is a basic diagram make sure that so spelling grammar continuity of idea relevant examples etc so we can check only we cannot edit equivalent but yeah continuity we can check let's say uh, see uh, the, the importance of essay is at the time of interview it will not be checked until you clear all the cutoffs and your uh, main uh, paper a b c d i quant verbal etc but at the time of interview uh, they'll be grilling you and whatever you have written so probably we cannot edit anything after uh, once it is written but yeah it continuity and at least we can check uh, that uh, whether we were able to keep up to the traditions or not so guys uh, now last few minutes we have got and uh, i'll giving i'm giving you one topic you just need to listen the topic carefully and prioritize 1 to 1 3 in order three things i'll uh, three uh, sub areas i'll be giving and you need to just mention one strong point that why you are saying that this should be number 1 this should be number 2 and this should be number 3 guys are you all ready it seems as if we are participating in some competition don't write why guys just write k sounds american yes uh, okay guys so uh, coming back to the topic topic is should we concentrate on carefully so should we concentrate on primary education secondary education or higher education topic again should we concentrate on primary education secondary education or higher education it's up to you you can say that all three are equally important you have to give reasons you if you want to stick to any particular thing that this should be the order then you have to write one solid point you can type in you can key in your point and we can discuss just to shake up a nerve brains neurons suman no 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 suman you have to uh, write the reason also primary education snigna prabal primary secondary shresth primary education most important step divya if we falter at any stage uh, divya seem to be very very visionary leader it's better Uh, i think politics is would be very suitable area for you if you falter any stage and it is a waste it's sounding like a prime minister of india tanya tanya are you a regular student used to be from rajpur or khanna tanya your uh, nikhil you are asking how much important is essay writing to the top in that to the top it is only important at the time of interview and it would be checked only reviewed only after you clear the cutoffs in other three sections aditya okay aditya no point in strengthening higher level students never attended primary now you are sounding like aditya you are sounding like arvin kejriwal straight away nothing personal otherwise uh, we are just um, interested in knowing your views opinion on these three areas because uh, anyone uh, can be fan of mr arvind mr modi mr jamwal are you playing joining joining leaving leaving 
uh, Sandeep, you are thanking me for what? It's kind of uh, you are thinking of. Okay, you have started saying thanking, thanking. Okay, so uh, switching. So guys, uh, if I talk about primary. For example, this this particular primary is up to fifth class, secondary is up to twelfth senior secondary, and higher education will include your graduation plus post graduation. Now, if you look at the uh, Indian scenario, most of the students are not able to complete the the drop out. Now it has uh, the situation has improved a lot. Now 92 percent enrollment is there. Earlier used to be people dropping out of students dropping out of uh, at this uh, primary level. Then. Uh, a few would complete secondary education, and top three or five percent uh, would be uh, would used to complete uh, used to complete uh, this uh, higher education, graduation and PG. And believe me, you all belong to top three percent of the student population. Uh, thinking of uh, doing a poor graduation in business administration. So uh, yes, uh, Ajay, for higher education, uh, when we are. Impress then primary and secondary then higher it's a cycle. Okay, very sentimental point. Uh, Sandeep Kumar, you are going offline. Okay, okay. See you, Sandeep. All the best. And uh, uh, if I uh, talk about primary education, uh, for these are the formative years in terms of psychology. In terms of knowledge base, in terms of fundamentals, in terms of making a kid learn how to adjust himself or herself with the society or in the society. So very important, and this is a particular time where we can inculcate moral values. So very important, cannot be ignored. Uh, one of you is, uh, I think, uh, Akash, you wrote this point uh, that you mentioned this that uh, without taking care of this, the other two steps are useless. Very important. Now coming back to the secondary education, why this is important? See, if I talk about the employment scenario in India, people are really jobless, and an unemployment level is very high. Uh, the rate at which the world is progressing or technology is progressing is very high. Most of the uh, middle class, poor or uh, lower middle class people or students or the kids, they are not able to keep up with the pace of the technology and pace of the world. And in order to make them employable in this knowledge economy, the best thing would be uh, secondary education, to focus on secondary education. Because this is the time where you decide about your career path. This is the time where we can train you regarding uh, your choices or your uh, the career path as per the suitability. For example, I'm talking about uh, these ITIs and polytechnics and other vocational courses. And this is a time where you come to know about what is good for you, what is bad for you. No doubt, we keep on doing the bad things like bunking classes, etc. I'm very uh, using very refined words here. I'm not uh, supposed to use, uh, let's say, unrefined words. There's a coded language I can use on web. But uh, we come to know about what is good for us, what is bad for us, and and we understand to con our contribution, the significance of our contribution to the nation, to the organization, to our family. Secondary education is important in that particular respect. And when we talk about higher education, see, uh, we are still fighting uh, deadly diseases and uh, poverty and other basic issues like uh, basic housing. We have got so many problems to face. And uh, in order to face uh, these so-called challenging aspects, it is not that we should always have money in place to fight all these ills, social ills. We definitely should have strong R&D based research and development because in this we live in this globalized village and we have to compete with other uh, countries also which are moving at very very fast pace. So higher education is uh, very important no doubt should not spend everything on higher education but we cannot ignore the importance of this because in order to find cure and uh, to other uh, areas also science or sociology or the political science they can be of great help and the people expert in this area can be of great help you talk about md or doctors dm you talk about rocket scientists or uh, any person uh, uh, gaining expertise in the field of theory of relativity after einstein so we need these people uh, to uh, be the part of the nation's journey so secondary edu higher education is as important as so point was, the essay was, let's say topic was, should be considered in higher secondary education. My point would be I need to first of all define these three areas. 
what exactly we mean by because reader may not be aware of these three areas in terms of division in education system general return i'm talking about you all are aware of then we need to uh, talk about see one word one another word we can use last 30 seconds i'll be taking your 30 seconds so in place of controversial we can also use i partially agree or disagree also partially agree means uh, that primarily majorly i disagree and if i write i partially disagree with this particular topic that means majorly primarily i agree to this got this so uh, this is how in place of controversy we can use these two words also so controversy partially agree or agree because for any particular situation we uh, any situation talk about sociological context or economical context uh, anything cannot be seen in pure black and white way uh, one of you likewise equilin or shreya mentioned that uh, things are always in shades of gray and we can take cannot take definitive stand because every aspect of anything or anything everything has got uh, shades of gray involved so probably we cannot be on the one side definitely and uh, we can reject other so am i clear guys so time has come to wind up this session guys any query you can write to me you can contact us and uh, we have got uh, the channels open communication channels open and uh, we are constantly uploading uh, different videos on our youtube also uh, channel uh, subject videos and general workshop videos also uh, take your time out spare time minutes and uh, watch these videos in case you have any problem as far as that verbal is concerned because i take verbal uh, it is primarily dominated by uh, uh, critical reasoning and reading comprehension section i already have uploaded that verbal analysis so uh, have you watched this did you watch any one of you has seen this video uh, that verbal that di that quant we already have uploaded okay so make sure that uh, you uh, do not miss any section important section uh, that can imp that can help you increasing your score and all the best and wish you all very very happy new year in advance so see you guys so and once again uh, just press k and uh, see you in american style okay see you all all the best